YouTube, GS Mail with Mario here. Today, another brand new video for tutorials with GS. Today's tutorial, we're going to be teaching you how to import audio into Windows Movie Maker, specifically Windows Live Movie Maker, but adding audio that has multiple audio channels. So, if you have a narration, if you have some music, if you have some sound effects, but you want to have multiple pieces of audio in your video. Now, Initially, Movie Maker only allows you to import one audio channel, one track of audio into your video. So for example, I have some music here, and if I want to import that music, I can do that. Here's my music. But if I want to add, say, a piece of narration here, I'm just dragging things in. As you can see, it overlaps. Now, uh, I do have a full video on how to use Windows Movie Maker. If this, is, if this program is new to you, you don't know how to fully use it, I recommend you, highly recommend you to check out my full tutorial on how to use Movie Maker. We go over some of the basics, and I'll leave a link to that on screen right now. There's a card on screen. You can click that card, and you can watch that video. Uh, but one of the more advanced uh, techniques to do in Movie Maker if you want to add multiple pieces of audio in one channel so they don't overlap like this is you'll have to do some audio editing separately outside of Movie Maker. Now you can use Adobe Audition if you have that. You can use something as simple as Audacity. And what you would have to do is just drag your two files. Here's my narration file and I'll go ahead and drag that into Audacity just like that. Then I'll grab my music file and drag it into Audacity just like that. And as you can see, Audacity allows me to have two tracks. Unlike Movie Maker, it only allows me to have one track. Audacity allows me to have two, three, four, five, six, as many tracks as you want. And all you have to do here is basically take a listen to this. And if you want, if your music is too loud, you can go ahead and you know highlight it, double clicking here, highlighting, then go up to effects, effect, then find amplify and enter a negative value here and that will lower the audio. If you want to increase the audio of your voice, same thing, go here, go to effect, amplify and add a positive value and that will increase the audio. And you can do this with as many audio files as you want. If you want to add sound effects, you can do that and you can move things around with this tool right here. And if you have certain, you know, sound effects that you may want to that you may want to come in at this specific point in time, you can move things. If you want the music to start at this point in time where you start talking here, then you can do that. There are several cool tools and effects in Audacity which allow you to manipulate your audio. But at the end of the day, if you just want to add your music, you just want to add your voice narration just like this then all you have to do is add them into Audacity here, go up to File, and you have to click Export. If you have dark Audacity like I have, go to Save Other, otherwise go to Export Audio, and then save it as an MP3 or as a WAV, it doesn't really matter, either of them will work. And we'll save it to our desktop, you can name it whatever, and you'll see now that if we reopen this track, it actually has our music and it has our narration. So if I were to go and delete this now, let's just go ahead and delete these tracks here real quick and we'll go ahead and import our new track which is right here. As you can see it has our audio, our narration and it has our music. And then we can go ahead and drag that into Movie Maker. We can drag it into Movie Maker here and now you'll have both pieces of audio. You'll have your narration and you'll have your music we take a quick listen to it, I can show you. It is important to note though that before you go to your home instance, you have to talk to, and if you move a little forward, start your quest. Oh, oh, my my now, yes, I realize that the music is very loud here, so you obviously want to make sure you uh, change the volume of your of your music. Calendar block item back. However, if you are, but you can see here I'm talking and the music is playing on top. So we've basically done what we wanted to. We've merged together two pieces of audio tracks into one track so Movie Maker can accept this audio track as one track as it's supposed to be. So that's all that, so that's all there is really to it. You have to basically do some editing in Audacity or in another audio editor. If you are unsure how to use Audacity, you want to learn how to use Audacity more, I have a whole tutorial on how to use Audacity as well. I'll leave a card on screen right now as well. Links are in the description as well to that YouTube video. 
And if you need a better explanation of how to increase and decrease the volume of tracks in Audacity, I have a video to that as well on the channel. So I'll leave a card to that on Square Now as well and a link in the description too. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you found it informative and it helped you out. If you did, go ahead and leave a comment and a like down below. If you have any questions or comments, if you run into any trouble, confusions, go ahead and leave a comment down below as well. I'll be there to help you as usual and answer any questions you have. Plenty of other tutorials on our channel regarding video editing, audio editing, lots of cool stuff on the channel that you'll probably find helpful. So if you're interested, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I highly, highly encourage you to do so. Plenty of cool and interesting and informative, helpful content on our channel. You can also check out my gaming channel, advice channel, music channel, or the vlogging channel with the links in the description as well as on the end screen. And if you want to donate a dollar to my Patreon page to show some support, you can do so as well. Click the card on top right hand corner screen or bring it to the page. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching as always. This is GS Smart. I'll be back soon you think. Don't go anywhere.